Hi, it's Denise. And what I want to do is to talk you through your report because I think sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. So what you'll get is on the first page is an oval comment and then um, some content related to both context and content and your context and career. And for this one, their score on both is the same. They've scored 31 of both. Um, and you can see here that overall, this person hasn't focused enough effort on LinkedIn um, and needs to spend some time doing things. And, you know, they're saying move from a LinkedIn laggard to a LinkedIn leader. Now, most of the people that do this are going to get something round about this one. It says here for context and content, you've got some major work to do on your profile um, in a world that's becoming more and more virtual. Who you are in LinkedIn is who you are. Um, and that will explain your score may have resulted in something different. Clearly, they're computer generated reports, but it gives you an overall view. And then it's saying here under contacts and career um, that you're not really standing out from your peers. You need to develop a strategy for expanding your network and retaining relationships. And then it goes down and it gives you your answers to every particular question that you have. So for this person, um, you have a clear understanding of your personal brand and what differentiates you, sort of. And clearly, you need to know about what makes you stand out, because otherwise, how can you describe yourself? in any different way, you're just going to be the same as everybody else. Um, you know what your short and long term career goals are. You know, and this is something, I mean, why are you doing your LinkedIn profile? Um, generally, it's because people want to progress in their career or at least to maintain their marketability. Um, so that might be an area that you want to focus on. Um, do you know what your top strengths are, the things you do better than anyone else? Do you know, there's it's worth thinking about these particular areas. Um, do you have a brand bio that reflects who you are? And, you know, I think the the bio is the headline statement that, that everybody's going to see. And does it make you stand out? Have you thought about the keywords that people will use? You know, and you can often get these from job ads. Um, what sort of picture do you have? Um, is it professional? And is it taking up probably about 60% of, of it being your face. Um, thinking about the headline, you know, if it's just your job title, there's so much more you could be doing. Um, the summary, um, it's about demonstrating your passion. You've got 2000 characters. There's a lot that you can do. Thinking about um, the specialties, the keywords, you know, probably that's an area that you need to think about looking at the different experience sections and the way your LinkedIn profile has changed now is there's more emphasis on your current job rather than the previous ones. So that's an area to start thinking about. Um, it's easy to include your logo and for this person, it's something that they haven't they have done. Um, you can include images, documents, etc. Um, and this person didn't know that they could. So clearly that's something they could do. They're, you know, thinking about the endorsements that you get, thinking about recommendations, thinking about your URL, um, thinking about your contact information. So for all these different areas, you know, it's it's given you your answer about about how these are um, and, and, and things that you might like to work on. So <laughs> there's a whole range of different things that you could be doing and it might be. But where do I start? So what I want to do to be helpful is to send you some tips over the coming few days. And whilst I think marketing wise, I meant to send them daily, I think I'm going to send them every other day, um, just to give you a chance to, to get on with different things. Um, and I also want to give you a special offer. And I offer um, or I sell um, an online course, um, which is guided videos. Um, of me talking with relevant information about how to improve your LinkedIn profile. It's incredibly thorough. I've sold, I've sold a good number um, of these courses and I'm selling them every week. And clearly you're going to get a lot more depth if you go into that one. And I'll include the link so that you can go and read more. And normally that's sold at £57. Um, but as you've signed up from a website, I'm giving you a a 35% discount, which takes it down to about £37. So you're saving around about £20. So that could be really helpful for you. And it comes with a 30 day money day money back guarantee. So if you think, you know what, this just wasn't useful, absolutely fine. You can have your money back. 
<laughs> no hardship, no hard feelings, you know, that sort of thing. So don't be overwhelmed. Read what it says right at the beginning about your overall summary, the context and content, context and careers, and then look at the different areas. You've got all these different questions, um, a bit of 34 all together, all these different questions. And you might like to just keep track of the ones you're going to do. And clearly doing things like getting your new photo up and working on your headline are easy things to start with. And I'll be sending you details about how to make a start on those. So they're going to follow over the coming few days. You get going on all of those. And if it can be of any help, then please get in touch. You'll also be on my regular newsletter list, which is coming out about every other week normally. Um, and that's just, you know, giving you something to think of beyond LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is important, but there's a heck of a lot of other things that we need to think about our careers. So thank you for being a subscriber. I really appreciate you giving me your email and I'll never share it to anybody else. And I hope this little video has been helpful. Till I talk again. Bye bye.